Okay, so we just finished our curdy mat here and we're ready to put on our tile. As you can see behind me, I've actually already started the first tiles on the back. And so, um, two things to note here is that uh, first, what I've done is I have a little spacer right here. And so I'm just using a nail that gives me about an eighth to a quarter inch of space. And so you want to leave almost like an expansion joint between the two different materials. And so what we're going to do here is when we're all done, we're all cleaned up, um, we're going to come through with just a little bit of silicone and seal that. That silicone will remain flexible and it'll also keep water out. Um, and the second thing is I have a special tile right here. So this is a bull nose tile. And so it just has a rounded edge that's finished compared to this edge right here, which A has the barcode, and then B is an unfinished edge. So as you can see, it's pretty nice. And so this is gonna finish off all of our tiles right here. And so I'll be able to finish up this edge with some paint, some mud, and some caulk, and it'll look pretty good. So as we move on to this side, I've already set up our, our nails here as our spacers. And I <clears throat> just wanna talk about um, how we're gonna start. So um, I've already laid this out a little bit and um, so I'm gonna have one full tile right here. I'm gonna have a little guy right here and then I'll find a measurement and cut this one right here. So um, as you notice, we already are walking into a situation here where we have a pipe and so we're gonna have to make a cut. Um, so I went and I lined this tile up um, so that I can make my measurements. And as you can see, I already have a little measurement here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this outside to the garage and we're gonna show you how to cut this. And we're also gonna show you how to cut one of these. Okay, so I just got back with my cut tile and now I'm doing a dry fit. Um, it looks really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this off and I've got my mortar here and I am ready to go. And so there's two ways you can do this. We talked a little bit about back buttering your tiles, um, but uh, some people for wall tiles or really small tiles will actually uh, put mortar on the back side of this tile and then comb it. Um, and so basically it's a, it's a different type of back buttering and then they'll install it onto the wall. And so if you have a really tight area where you can't get a trowel or if you have an area um, on a wall or, or different areas, you might want to just apply the mortar right to here and then stick it right to the wall. Um, I'm not going to do that, but that's definitely an option for you. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread mortar on the entire place here because I have each of my three tiles ready to go. And then we're going to back butter all of our tiles as well and then install them. Now we're going to go right into back buttering my tile. Like we said before, you have um, a few volunteers and uh, you can't get everyone in the bathroom. And this is something they can be doing is back buttering the tiles before. Here we are. Get this one up. So I'm placing it on my nails and that'll keep it up. And just gotta get around our pipe. Okay. Centering on my pipe and now I'm really just gonna lift and push this tile up. Squish it into the mortar. What's nice is now it is just resting directly on the nails and you're going to want something there whether it's a uh, shins or your spacers or whatever it is you're going to want your little piece of material there to hold the tile up off the tub and so I'm going to let that sit real quick and um, it's not going to be my final positioning I'm going to position this tile and this tile and then I'm going to move things around to make sure the spacing is okay. So as you can see, it is sagging a little bit. And so after I get it solidly embedded, because this one doesn't have any support right now, what I can do is 
come back with some painters tape and we're going to do this to all the pieces I just want to make sure that this one doesn't sag in the meanwhile and surprisingly that does a good job of holding everything in place I'm going to come back and get a little bit more uh, masking tape on it after I set this tile last tile here and push Now with all three tiles in place, what I'm going to go around and do is <coughs> set them, <coughs> make sure that I like the spacing. And so what we're really relying on here is the fact that our tub is level. Um, if, if you feel that it's not and your tiles aren't lining up properly, then you can always go ahead and get a level out and check the level. <coughs> press this one in here and you're going to want to leave a little gap in here mainly for expansion and so I've heard a lot of debate on whether you grout this or whether you put silicone in there and so um, think of it like this if these are two different walls moving um, which is very possible you would want almost like a flexible expansion joint in here so I'm going to say uh, don't grout this and let's do a line of silicone in there which will give the flexibility for it to move all right <clears throat> So this one feels good, this one feels good, and now I'm going to grab my spacers. So once again, I'm using the eighth inch spacer here, um, and these are just going to help you align everything properly. So I'm going to move things around, install my spacers, and if they pop out, that's not the biggest deal in the world. <clears throat> Just want to make sure that your tiles are staying still. Put them in here. Okay. So now everything's good, and this is where I'm going to come back. Hey, I'm going to scoop some of this junk off. masking tape and so on a big tile like this I'm gonna be extra careful I'm gonna put three pieces of masking tape on and so this is just a little extra security if you feel like your tiles are holding without this then that is fine you don't have to do this um, but I just want to make sure when I come back that my tiles are still in the right place that gravity hasn't moved them Okay, and that's it. And so um, you can make the decision on whether you want to go ahead and tile right on top of this. Um, what I've decided to do is work around versus working up. And so I have some tiles here that have been set for a little bit. So I'm going to place on top of these next. And then once these are a little bit more dry, I'm going to come back. So like I said, instead of working up, I'm going to work around, which will give these tiles a little bit more time to set and harden. And that way when I put more and more weight on this, um, they have less of a chance to sag. Okay, so this is our second tier tile and I've already got it combed out and I already have it back buttered. So what I like to do is rest it on this tile and then move it up and then use my spacers. So here I go, I'm gonna tip this one up onto the wall. Is that a bit? So like I said, I'm doing the half stagger, and so that's why I'm decided to use a, a half one here. Uh, over. Now I've got to make sure it's set. Lift up and set. Lift up. And set those in. And then we are good to go. And so yeah, just like our other tiles, what I'm going to do is come back, scrape off the mortar, and then
put our masking tape on. So at this point, this is really keeping the tile from falling back, um, so much as it is from keeping it uh, up like this, because these spacers are going to do their work, and then everything is eventually going to load onto those nails. So we're good to go here. Um, and so from this point, what you really want to do is just continue uh, your project. And so like I said, I like to go uh, horizontal versus vertical because it does allow um, your bottom tiles to dry a little bit. They set a little bit. And for me, that just makes me feel more comfortable. So um, what I would do is I would go all the way around and then I would move up another tier. Um, and then I would take the tape off when, when I'm up on that next tier. And so go ahead, do your next tier. Um, and that's pretty much it. And so our next step will be doing the grout for this project and, uh, and then we'll be good to go. Thanks for watching our video. Um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can get updated on all our newest videos. Also go ahead and click the links below so you can uh, see our social media profiles as well as our website.